What are the Ica stones? Uh, most of the stones are found in graves, so what we uh, believe that they are is burial stones. Uh, archaeologists think they represent what the person did in his or her life. Um, they've been found mostly in Peru, but uh, many have been found in as far uh, north as southern Mexico. Um, over here is uh, this is the area right in here where the majority of them have been found. Uh, this is the Alcamara Desert. It's the driest desert in the world. Uh, they get approximately a half an inch of rain every 50 years. If you walk across that desert, your footprints will be there a thousand years from now. There just is no erosion there at all. Uh, most of the experts say that the uh, Ica stone started with uh, Javier Cabrera in the early 1900s. But actually, the first Ica stones were mentioned by the Spanish priests in 1535. That's a long time ago. In 1571, they were written about by explorers in Peru. Uh, some of the stones were sent back to Spain in the year 1562. So the Ica stones were, have been known about for 450, over 450 years. This is a picture of the Cabrera Museum in Peru that I got to visit. There are approximately 11,000 stones in this museum depicting very, uh, all just varied things. Their authenticity has been questioned because it's believed by the experts that dinosaurs and man uh, did not exist together. Uh, National Geographic says no man has ever seen a dinosaur. Uh, Carl Sagan wrote in his book that these people knew what these dinosaurs looked like <coughs> uh, because it was imprinted on our DNA and our minds um, when we were mammals crawling up out of the sea and turning into humans. <laughs> That's actually in his book. Read it. <laughs> Dr. Dennis Swift uh, offered a half a million dollar reward for anyone who could refute the evidence uh, of the test done by him and some others who were non-biased. Some were non-biased against, some were non or some were biased against, some were biased for, and some just really didn't care. But there were a number of people that went down and they tested these stones to see if they were, they were authentic. There are some known forgeries. Uh, we even know who makes them. The Ica stones in the Fer uh, Cabrera Museum were found to be authentic. There is irrefutable evidence that there is a vast difference between the fakes and the real ones. The patina is a film that forms over rocks and the sur surface of things that only comes with the passage of time. Uh, the patina found on the authentic Inca stones has been found to be very ancient. The grooves and the forgeries uh, have no patina on the lines, or the grooves in the forgeries have no patina covering the lines on the forgeries, and they're easier, easy to tell apart from the real or the, uh, the fake. The microscopic analysis of the real stones has verified the authenticity. <laughs> Uh, forgeries would have had marks, swirl marks made by a Dremel or a dental tool if they were, if they were made uh, with one of those. We have no idea what they were made by. Uh, their metal flakes uh, would be left if they were made by hacksaw blades. It's, uh, uh, one of the forgers uses hacksaw blades to carve the, the stones. Uh, there are many fakes that have been brought into the United States. The andesite stone has mica and feldspar that would be exposed uh, when they carve these new lines in, and they shine brightly under magnification and light. Um, 
The grooves in the forgeries are very bright white in color. None of the stones in the Cabrera collection have any indications of forgery. Not one of the 11,000 stones in the Cabrera Museum show any signs of forgery. They have been shown to be authentic by scientific investigation. The authorities say it is impossible to create fake patina that can't be easily uh, detected. The Cabrera stones and some of the others in the other museums down there are very real. This is some of the 11,000 stones uh, in Ica, Peru. That's, uh, that lady is a Peruvian lady. Her name is Mama Rosa. She runs a, a kind of a goodwill thing down there. Uh, when we were down there two years ago, uh, her and her husband and her son accepted the Lord. We started a little church of three people. By Christmas, it grew to 83. By a year later, it was over 2,000 Christians because of uh, her. That other lady there with the white hair, that's Dennis Swift's wife, Sharon. The stones uh, are ancient and depict many astonishing things about the ancient peoples. Um, here... It appears that they're doing some ancient surgeries, brain surgery, uh, men and dinosaurs together. They're called Ica stones, uh, but it's not known for certain who the people were who made the stones. They're called Ica stones mostly because most of them are out, found around Ica, Peru. Uh, some of the pictures on the stones are of the same culture that made the Nazca lines uh, in the Nazcan desert. Anybody heard about the Nazca lines in the desert, all the big pictures and everything? It's really cool down there. I got the privilege of flying over them and photographing a number of them. Uh, it was really awesome to fly over that. They don't let you fly over some of them during certain times of the day because has everybody heard of the astronaut, the little man who's pointing to the stars? Well, if you fly over that early in the morning or late in the evening, it's not an astronaut. It's a fisherman holding a stringer of three fish, and it shows up plain as day. You can even see the fish at uh, other times of the day.